In 2016, the race for Minnesota's 8th Congressional District was the fifth most expensive in the nation with outside groups and the candidates spending more than $21 million. This year, the race once again is expected to be among the most expensive across the country. And it's also getting big time attention with President Trump and Vice President Pence coming to campaign for the Republican nominee, Pete Stauber. Stauber is facing the DFL nominee, Joe Radinovich. Here's Esme Murphy with tonight's Talking Points. It's very rare to have a congressional seat switch from one party to another, but in the past eight years, Minnesota's 8th Congressional District has flipped from Democrat to Republican to, in the last two elections, wins by Democratic Congressman Rick Nolan. But now with Nolan retiring, it's once again one of the most hotly contested races in the nation. The latest poll shows the race in a statistical dead heat, with Joe Radinovich up by one percentage point over Republican Pete Stauber, well within the margin of error of plus or minus 4.6 percent. Radinovich is fighting back against an ad by an outside group claiming he has been convicted of 18 crimes. In fact, almost all of those are traffic tickets, many of which he did pay late. He does have a conviction for driving after his driver's license was revoked. And as an 18-year-old, he was also ticketed for having marijuana paraphernalia, a charge that was later dismissed under a plea deal. That incident took place shortly after his mother was murdered by his step-grandfather in a murder-suicide. Radinovich, who is now 32, was a guest on WCCO Sunday morning. Like a lot of people across the 8th Congressional District, my life has been marked by some real ups and downs. I've made mistakes along the way, and I've enjoyed successes. And I take responsibility for the things, uh, for the mistakes that I've made in my life. Republicans fear they will almost certainly lose some congressional seats in the midterms, and that's why they are fighting so hard to win the 8th in order to preserve their current 23 House seat majority. And while Democrat Rick Nolan won in 2016 by only just over 2,000 votes, President Trump won the district decisively, beating Hillary Clinton by 15 percentage points. Esme Murphy, WCCO 4 News. You can watch WCCO Sunday morning with Esme Murphy and Micah Gustinek every Sunday at 6 a.m. and 10.30 a.m.